Hey everyone, welcome to Dry Bar Reviews. Today we're doing an oil change on a Chevy Cruze 2012 LTZ. Let's jump right in and take a look at the tools you're gonna need. A socket wrench, a socket wrench extender, 10 millimeter socket, 15 16 socket, a new filter, synthetic oil, or whatever your choice of poison is. An oil pan to catch the oil, a funnel to dump the oil in, and optionally, today I'm gonna be using an oil treatment from BG Products. And that's what you're gonna need, my friends, to do an oil change on the Chevy Cruze. Here we go. All right, now an oil change is pretty simple as far as how you do it. And I'll put all the details as far as what I'm using in the description below. But as far as this oil treatment is concerned, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into the engine, into where the oil goes for 10 minutes as I run it at 1200 RPMs. And then I'm gonna add this to the oil when I put in the oil. And it's gonna be an engine oil supplement. Uh, if you're wondering what EPR does, it's supposed to clean micro passageways to maintain the critical hydraulic function of components such as valve train actuators and turbochargers and of course in the LTZ you have the turbocharged engine. So I'm going to be using this because I plan on keeping this car past 100,000 miles. And if you're not planning on doing an engine performance restoration treatment, then just jump ahead to the part where we dump out the oil right after this. Pretty simple, all we're going to do here is remove the oil cap and we're just going to add the EPR into the oil. Put the cap back on, and we're just gonna run the engine for 10 minutes at 1200 RPMs. Starting at 525, here we go. And there we go, it's been 10 minutes, so we get to boom. Turn off the car and drain the oil. Quick pro note here before you take off the bolt at the bottom, release the dipstick so that you have air that passes through and allows it to evenly flow out the bottom. All right, I'm gonna give you the shot that I always wish for when I watch oil change videos, all right? So I'm gonna go underneath the car and show you exactly where the bolt is to release the oil. So right underneath the car here, hang on, let's see if we can get rid of this. There we go. You're gonna see this pipe right here, okay? And right towards the passenger side is the bolt right there. So we're gonna release that bolt right there and let the oil out. Now you'll notice a couple things. So the oil pan I use is this nice big one that reduces splash by catching it inside itself. And I'm also not using a jack um, to lift up my car. And I actually just like parking where my driveway comes to the street. That gives me enough room to work underneath here. Now if you did the EPR treatment, keep in mind that the oil is hot. So if you have to drop the bolt because you can't get your hand out there fast enough, do it. But be very careful here if your oil is hot because your car was running recently. And just in case you're wondering if you can do it, you can, as you can see, there's plenty of room for my socket wrench and my easy catch oil pan without lifting the car. And in this case, I don't have to worry about jacks, I don't have to worry about what I currently have the car resting on, I can just go to town. So I'm gonna release this bolt, let's get it going. All right, we got the bolt off, and as that drains, we're gonna pop up top and take out the filter. All right, now this is where the 15, 16 socket comes in handy. Right down here, if you can see that, that's where your oil filter sits, so we gotta take this off using our socket. And I always like to put something down underneath here to make sure I don't get oil everywhere. Get that right on there. I'm just gonna loosen it. If I had a little extender here for this size socket, I could come up a little higher and have a little more wiggle room, but not a huge deal. And once you got it loosened, you just kinda completely twist that off. You pull the cap up. This is the kind where the filter is actually in the cap. And that's one of the reasons I like to put something underneath it so you can catch some of that oil so it doesn't go everywhere on your car. All right, and this old filter should just pop off, so we're just gonna remove it here. Just compression from these knobs is what holds it in. And you also have this O-ring here, and you're gonna find that an O-ring always comes with the new filter. So you might as well just snag this O-ring and take it off, because we're gonna replace that anyways, and then throw the old filter and O-ring away. All right, so today we're using an AC Delco. I'll put the part number in the description below. But, uh, you know, in general, you can choose whatever you want. I just would probably go with Wix or AC Delco. Um, probably steer clear Fran, but there you go. All right, so you're gonna take first your O-ring, and I have a little bit of the new oil from my Pennzoil synthetic in the cap. I'm just gonna kinda cover it on here, on the O-ring. Just give it a nice little oil slick and then you're just gonna stick it onto that cap that we took that first one off get all the way past all the threading and that's where it's supposed to sit right there okay and then we're gonna take the new filter I'm just gonna stick that right in there the center the side okay gets just poked right in there till it clicks and then some people even like to lubricate this with a little oil and 
sure why not I mean it's gonna get covered in oil as soon as you start the engine so it's probably not that big of a deal but you know it makes people feel better so they do go ahead and do it okay and then we just gonna put that right back in Keep in mind it's a plastic cover, so you just snug it up just a little and you're good to go. New filter has been installed. Moving on. All right, now before we put the oil in, we can't forget to put our bolt back in. So let's go down here and check and see. We're down to a slow drip, so pretty good. So let's just throw this bolt back in and then put some oil in the car. All right, also one thing to keep in mind as you're tightening the bolt down here, you don't want to overdo this. You definitely don't want to strip uh, the threads here. So this is something where you definitely give it a little bit of snugging up kind of the same mentality as the top there with the filter except here it's much more important because this is one thing you really don't want to have to retap so all right so we're gonna go all the way till it gets nice and snug and just give it a little bit more and that's pretty good all right now we got the bolt back on we're gonna add in some of that nice new oil along with my engine oil supplement and all you got to do is add this with the new oil so I'm actually today going to be using Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic and they actually rebranded this. I think they even tweaked it a little bit, but it's no problem adding them together. So I'm going to use up the last quart I have in here. And with changing the oil on the Chevy Cruze LTZ 1.4 liter turbo engine, it's supposed to take 4.25 quarts of oil. And what we found is that as you fill it up, it actually fills up <laughs> on the dipstick before that for a lot of people pretty consistently so what i like to do is fill it up to about three and a half and then check it and then go from there and just go a little bit at a time as it starts to hit the dipstick until we're right at the right mark at the top of that fill line here's their rebranded platinum full synthetic pure plus technology blah -de blah it's the same thing basically that's good stuff i love pennzoil full synthetic man never go any less for the ltz i'll tell you Oh, I'm going to stop here for a second, one and a half. And I'm going to throw in this supplement here. By the way, just in case you're wondering what this does, it's supposed to prevent engine oil thickening, even under the most severe driving conditions, fortifies all qualities of engine oil to help withstand fuel contamination and maintain essential lubrication qualities longer under extreme temperatures. So it's supposed to keep ring lands, hydraulic cams and lifters and other engine components clean and maintain optimum engine performance and provide superior long lasting protection to extend engine life. Now, I'm not a salesman on this. Actually, I have a friend who's an engineering mechanic. So he had his engineering degree and then he became a mechanic, mostly for luxury cars. And he swears by this stuff. So ever since he's done that for me and it actually has helped improve the performance and gas mileage of my car, I just use this stuff, you know, why not? No brainer, especially since I'm keeping this car into high mileage. I believe I'm at 105,000 right now. I'm just gonna add this in there. Beautiful. Huh? <laughs> We're already getting it. <laughs> I just had a whim after the MOA ad, I'm checking. We've only added 2.5 quarts. And I'm already getting a hit on the fill line, so I'm gonna add another half liter and see where we go from there. That's why I like to check really early on. This is actually, I said I was gonna add in, I think three, yeah, three and then check. So that's why I add three and then check, and I might even start checking at two and a half. Because I like being very cautious with that. You definitely don't wanna add too much oil on this, a pain in the butt, if you ever have to take care of that issue. And here we go, moment of truth. Let's see if I can get on the camera here. Right there. Right there where we want it to be. So we're good to go. And our oil has been replaced. Before I put my oil cap out on, I always like to check and see if there's excess grime there. Occasionally you should change even this O-ring. A little bit of grime on this one. Put the cap back on. And you, my friend, have just changed the oil in your car. Good work. Well, there you guys go. And with that, you've changed the oil on your Chevy Cruze. Don't forget to check the oil level after your first drive and top it off as needed. But besides that, if you're done, you did a stellar job. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think with a comment down below. Don't forget to like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time on the next Drive-By Reviews.